and your family uh, as you come forward with the truth. And uh, Mr. Chairman, I yield back and I will sit here to see if Jim Jordan will address uh, Donald Trump's threats to the Constitution or if Mr. Jordan will just simply look the other way. Mr. Swalwell, would you, remain, would you um, uh, yield your balance to the, yield back, the gentleman Mr. from uh, Mr. Jordan? I think, Mr. Jordan, are you? Do you want a question? Because I'll take a couple of seconds here. If you want. Okay, I'm Mr. Mr. Jordan wanted a couple of, a couple of seconds to answer. Yes, well, Mr. Jordan denounced Donald Trump's termination of the Constitution. Uh, Pre President Trump has clarified his comments regarding the Constitution. He put out another post, I think, a day or so later, maybe, maybe the next day, I can't, can't recall. Um, and everyone knows President Trump, there's no way this guy's anti-Semitic. This guy was the most pro-Israel president in history. Put the embassy back in Jerusalem, Abraham Accord, I mean, the, the most pro-Israel pro president we've ever had did more in foreign policy in the Middle East than any president we've ever had. So, and do you uh, denounce the, your tweet the, praising the, uh, Kanye West? The, we, that tweet was not our account, and that tweet has been removed. has expired. So, uh, no, it's my time. No, no, no. Uh, now it's fresh. He yielded. He yielded yeah. the it's balance of his time. To well, he's he's over time. There's no time. That I thought it was right. Yeah. So, uh, I haven't used my time I, yet. No, so. you have not. I got, chair I got will, questions for these witnesses. Chair will now recognize the gentleman from Florida, Mr. Gates, for five minutes. 